Let's get it cranking. Problem of the day time. And we've got find the area and perimeter of a right triangle with a hypotenuse of 16. No, add one more to that. 17 feet and a leg of 8 feet. So we're going to be looking at a right triangle, finding the area, the perimeter, and the hypotenuse. All such a lot of terminology, so we've got to make sure we understand what's going on here. That's a right triangle, first of all. Why? Because I'm going to pop a right angle right down there in that corner. That makes things happen. That's how we know for sure, although it did give it to us. That was information. Now, hypotenuse, remember, it's the longest, longest segment of the triangle. It's also out here opposite, as we say, far away from the right angle. It's over here. So here it goes, 17. And a leg of 8 feet, I'm going to tell you something. Judging from the way this thing is drawn, it's pretty, pretty close to being accurate. I'm going to give this one the 8, because it looks about a half, a little bit, you know, maybe a little less than half a 17 right there. And we're going to look for a question mark here, an X, an N, a, some of you may want to call it A or B, because you know the formula. What is that formula out here to the side? Let's go for it. That's when we have a right triangle. The sum of the squares of the legs. So we got a squared plus b squared equaling to c squared. And the question is, what do we know? Well, we've got a leg, which is one of our eight. We'll put it right in there. We'll call that eight squared. I'm going to go ahead and change the b to x since I put an x on there, so I don't want to confuse people. And on the other side out here, we've got 17 squared. So the first trick, the first thing is, let's figure out what x equals. Now, some of you who are taking some of those good old geometry and high school subjects and have already done Pythagorean, and especially as you're in pre-calculus and stuff, you're probably going like, Ernie, I recognize that's a triple. 8-something and 17. I've got a feeling a lot of our students don't recognize triples yet, and that's a good thing to be able to do in a geometry class or pre-calculus class because it saves you time because you know what? Every time you run this 8 squared and x squared and 17 squared, x squared is going to always be the same thing, and x is going to always equal the same thing. So let's go ahead and square them out. I gave you my little pro for learning your perfect squares and also learning your Pythagorean triples. Now let's look at it here. We got 64, and by the way, that's what that a squared, b squared, c squared is all about. It's the Pythagorean theorem, named after our friend Pythagoras. Let's take x squared over here, and 17 times 17, got that off the top of your head? It helps if you do. Let's go with it, 289. Subtract. 64 from both sides, and we are going to pick up an x squared here equaling, it looks like, 225. I'm not interested in x squared, though, am I? I want to know what x is. So x equals 15. Now, how did I get that? Because I took the square root of both sides. And I asked, what times itself will give us 225? The answer is 15. You said, Ernie, how did you know that? You know it. All right? It's like just saying, what's 15 times 15? You know you got a 5 on the end, so you're hoping it'll come out even. If it doesn't, you know, your best shot, your only shot, really, is if you have a 5 and a 5, and you know it's not 25. All right? It's not going to be 25 times 25. That takes it way too high. So again, 15 times 15 is your shot. Otherwise, you got to, you probably want to play for a decimal of some sort. So we're, are we done? No, we're not done. We've got 15. We're halfway there. Honestly, we're halfway there. We've got area and perimeter that we are looking for. So another, another thing we've got to know what to do with it. So once you've found all three sides here, by the way, the triple would be 8, 15, 17. That would be the combination if you knew that. Good for you. You just basically saved yourself a couple of minutes, right? And when you're, by the way, you're doing ACT, every minute counts. So that's why I recommend know the triples because... My friends, Pythagorean theorem, right triangles are all over your ACTs and SAT tests. They are just fun to grade and fun to test you on. Now, let's get this area and perimeter business. Perimeter is just simply add the three sides together. So that part's pretty easy. Watch me mess up. Not going to mess up. And by the way, these are all feet, right? You've got to remember that. You say, why do we have to remember that, Ernie? Because we're going to add them all together, and that's going to be... Basically, we'll put those, and we'll put the measurement of feet on there. They just stay the same. So 8 plus 15, last time I checked, that's going to be what? Somebody want to give me a help on that? I think it's 23, add, four, add 70. Uh, let's try it again. 23 and 17 gives us 40 feet. There's your perimeter. 
Pretty straightforward. Yeah, you can add them in any order you want to, but all three of them get added together. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? But you had to know 15. Get to the final answer. Area, remember, it's one half. In this case, going to be our A times B, our base times altitude, or in this case, our legs, the product of the legs. So I'm going to just put A times B here. We've got 8 and 15. This one's going to be very easy. One half of 8 times your 15. I'm catching up to 60, but don't write feet. Mm -mm. They're going to be square feet, all right? Because you're taking feet times feet, which gives you feet squared. So in this case, that's our story on this one, all right? That's our final tally there. We do come up with square feet for the area. We have feet for the perimeter. And my goodness, the missing side is 15, and it also is in feet. So good start. Problem of the day.